Hi, this is Yvonne Pran, and I'm going to give you a short little video on some really fun stuff. And on this, it's on changing the colors of templates in Canva. Now, here's the situation. Canva has just hundreds and hundreds of these great templates that you can modify in all kinds of ways. Now, it's easy to do things with the big blocks. That's really easy, but what if you want to change the colors of individual pieces of clip art. What if you want to change colors inside some of their elements? Now, this is something that I learned to do just this week. Many of you may have already known how to do this for a long time, but in case you didn't, I'm going to show you what I learned because it was so much fun. So now let's just jump over to Canva. Okay, here we are in Canva. Now I'm going to go ahead and just click on on this flyer right here because I showed it to you earlier and here we have this great template now you can do all kinds of things you can see how you could maybe modify it for a youth group night or a you know just all kinds of things now if you want to modify the color blocks you click on them and then see you go over here to see where the different colors are and what you can do, I want to change this kind of teal green, so I click on that. And then all of these different colors come up. Now, if you want something that's completely new and different, you can click on New Color. If you have some specific colors for your church or some theme colors, and you know the hex code, you can put it in here. But all you have to do to, if you want to change the whole overall block, is again, you go to that, you go to this color, and then you just pick whatever you want to change it to. Obviously, that's not a good idea because there's no contrast. Here we could change it to purple or we could change it to a blue or, you know, just however you wanted to change it. Now, the question though comes up and you can do that for any of the other squares here. For example, if I want to change the blue ones, I would go up here to the blue and you can see the different colors. Let's um, say we want to make those pink. This is kind of an obnoxious color combination, but uh, just to illustrate what happens, it, you can see you can go through and change the big blocks. But what if you don't like the blue on, on your little piece of clip art right here? Can you change that? Well, the answer is yes, you can. Let me show you how to do it. You click on the whole overall image, but then up here, say I want to just change the blue. You go to the blue, you click on that, and then you can change it to any color you want. Maybe we just want it black. You see, that's all you have to do. If you wanted to change the yellow here, we you see we have the whole thing highlighted. We go up to the yellow, click on that, and you can see actually there's a little line around that box. This is the color we're working on, and maybe we want to make that a lime green, which that all is pretty obnoxious, but that shows you the kind of thing that you can do. And you can actually go through, and any of these different pieces, you can change the colors. Here, again, for example, say we just wanted to change that blue. We go up here to the blue, Let's just make that black so you can see it clearly. And you see, we changed that to black. So it's, it's much more flexible. You can do a lot more changes than people think about. I want to show you something that I learned to do last week. And that is I'm going to add a new page just so I have a blank page. Now, with Canva, you can go over here, see to where it says Elements. And um, you see, I recently used this one. I had typed in church, churches, and I wanted something like this. But after I got it, I thought, Ew, I just hate the colors there. I don't know why. To me, it's just a really, really ugly uh, combination of colors. But you don't have to keep them these colors. What you can do is, for example, here, if you don't want um, the pink. See up here, when you click on the whole image, it brings up all of the different colors. Now, if I don't want the pink, I can just click on that. And let's say I wanted to make that a blue. And I already like it better than I did before. But I really don't like that background color either. And so I'm going to click on that, kind of that mustard color. 
and maybe I want that to be well, let's just say another shade of blue. Um, I kind of like monochromatic things. And so you see how you can change just the individual colors. If I wanted to change the purple, I could maybe make that black. Now, the one thing is if there are two areas in the same image that are the same color, you they, they will both change. You can't make, for example, this one purple and this one black or whatever you have to, they it, it changes all at one time. This might be a little bit light. So again, we go up to the, you want to click it here, but you actually go up to the color up here. And let's say, let's just make this just for the sake of contrast sort of a green there. So you can see how you can change in Canva the individual colors and this gives you tremendous flexibility in your designs. I'm going to show you one more way that you can use this really quickly and that is for Valentine's Day. Um, let's just go down to some of the Instagram images for Valentine's Day. And here they have, you see when they even just have a couple of things like this, Instagram posts on love, if you click see all, you have a whole lot of different ones that come up. Now you can't change colors in pictures, but you can again in anything that's clip art. Now here, um, I think this is a really cute design, but to me it's awfully bland. And what you can do if you want to take the time is you can actually go into each one of these little images and you see here how I think that's the envelope. Um, and maybe I want to see it makes it purple. Um, and let's try the top part. That makes that purple. And sometimes you kind of have to play around here, the heart. Um, that's kind of nice, but we'll make that red. Um, and you could, you could literally go through, and again here, you see the petals are all that pink color. Let's make them, um, if we're doing purples, we're doing all purple. The center is that color. We'll make that yellow. And you could go through and just change whatever you wanted to. Let's see how this one is. Let's make the, that. Oh, look at that. Now that's really interesting. That's something that was kind of hidden that we didn't see the little smiling face there. So that's, that's kind of interesting. And then let's make our cupcake sort of a pink. And then this other color, let's go maybe a lighter color. Oh no, that makes it, that makes it fade out. Let's try red. So <laughs> you can see we've really drastically changed that. And I hope this just gives you an idea of how you have a lot more flexibility, a lot more really fun things that you can do with this incredible program. So have fun with Canva. For lots more on church communications, go to www.effectivechurchcom.com. I'm Yvonne Pran, wishing you a wonderful day creating church communications.